हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग क्लासेस टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट टेंपरेचर मेजरमेंट ट्रांसड्यूसर्स इन द लास्ट क्लासेस वी टुक थ्री ऑफ द ट्रांसड्यूसर्स व्हिच विल मेजर द टेंपरेचर्स ओके नो हियर फर्स्ट वन आई टुक बायोमेटालिक थर्मोमीटर इन इट आई टुक हेलिक्स टाइप एंड स्पाइरल टाइप थर्मोमीटर्स दे विल मेजर टेंपरेचर अप टू 400 डिग्री सी and next one is resistance thermometer it will measure temperature between 800 degrees to 1100 degrees centigrade centigrade and uh, thermistors also measuring the same type of temperature range and these three already i did videos i give the link in description box please check it and today i would like to explain about thermocouple what is a thermocouple how to measure the temperature this thermocouple will measure the temperature range between minus 200 degrees c to 2100 degrees c okay this is the lower range of temperature this is the higher range if you see previously it is lower range of temperature it is the medium range these two and this is some little higher side 2100 degree c similarly in next video i do on pyrometers okay so in it again two types total radiation pyrometer and optical pyrometer here uh, first i will take the thermocouple thermometer okay so the main purpose of this is for measuring the negative temperatures also okay lowest temperature also let us see one by one now let us discuss about thermocouple which will measure the temperature ranges between minus 200 degree c to 2600 degree c now here i am using thermocouple means i am taking two different metals let us take here one metal i am taking okay metal a i am taking and similarly metal b i am taking here these are the electric wires or plates any um, metal we can take different metals now i am connecting here two wires or two plates now this will form the junction it is called junction of the two metals now here i am keeping this one is free ends okay free ends of this metals okay now here uh, what is the basic principle of this thermocouple means let us assume we are can we are connecting two ends of the conductors or metal a metal b at one point okay at the second point these two ends are free okay so there is no connection in between it okay now whenever i am creating some temperature i am sending some heated gas in this region in the junction region here some voltage will develop between these two ends okay between these two ends voltage are we can call emf electromagnetic field or voltage we can call uh, any word for voltage okay. whenever we are applying some heated gas in this junction region because of this at free ends some voltage or emf will develop so how to find how much voltage has developed so here we need to connect one voltmeter for finding the it is called voltmeter okay for finding the voltage now the basic principle of this thermocouple is when two conductors or two different metals A and B are joined together at one end to form junction and this junction is heated to higher temperature with respect to the free ends. Okay? A voltage is developed at the free ends okay? and if these two conductors of metals at the free ends are connected then the EMF setup will be developed. EMF will develop here. This is the basic principle of thermocouple. Let us assume I am applying 100 degree C vapor here in this region. Okay. So at 100 degree C, I am taking what is the change in voltage. Let us take it is some 20 volts. Okay. Now I am applying again instead of 100, I am giving 200 degree C some vapor or gas. Okay. The change in voltage I am taking 200 degree C, it is some 30 voltage. Change in voltage is increasing with increasing temperature. Like that, if you are giving unknown value, this value is unknown. Unknown. Uh, temperature of the gas if you are applying here okay that temperature we need to measure it is showing let us assume it is 50 voltage so because of this uh, voltage we can find the temperature by the calibrated scale already we will have a scale it is called calibrated scale by using that we can find how much temperature is applying at the junction by using this output voltage at the free ends of the two dissimilar metals this is the process of finding the temperature in thermocouple okay now we are using different metals metal a and metal b for finding different temperature readings okay so chromel aluminum here i have written chromel aluminum alumel okay it is uh, alloy okay 
if you are taking these two dissimilar metals okay different metals we can measure temperature minus 200 degree c to 1100 degree c if you are using iron constant 10 the temperature range is minus 200 degrees to 850 similarly chromium constant 10 uh, also minus 200 degrees to 850 rhodium and iridium i am taking 0 to 2100 degrees c this is the higher range of temperature see the temperature range here okay it is 2000 gap rhodium and platinum i am taking this is 0 degrees to 1400 degrees c tungsten rhenium i am using 0 to 2600 degrees c it is the highest temperature range okay at the molten metal of uh, iron okay we are using this temperature range so we have to use this thermocouple for uh, finding the temperature of the uh, heated metal or uh, liquid metal and the copper constant and if you are using different metals minus 250 to 400 degrees c now by using this chart we have to find the required metal uh, couple we have to choose according to our taken process